Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nark. Welcome along to one of my Test Kitchen videos. Um, following on from Dan's video the other day, uh, I think it was number 7A on his s tests for slime spawn times, I decided to do a bit of investigation of my own. So, I actually left some theories and some comments on that video about um, whether or not seeded slime um, behaves in certain ways, depending on whether you do so. Mainly, can you... Um, cause more than one um, uh, extra spawn in the 20 second period. Um, Dan got it to occur at say like 7 seconds and 20 seconds in every 20 second period. And I also theorized if could just like turning your back on the slime spawn actually um, cause it to work as well. Now LB theorized that leaving a room potentially causes a seeded slime to spawn or the extra spawn to occur. So I'm going to play around with this. Um, I have been playing around with this for a very long time. I've been trying to get this recorded for so, so long, but something either messes up or my timer doesn't work properly or an interruption comes in the room. It's like 10 o'clock at night now, but I've actually got some peace and quiet. I can actually record this. I think I know the answer to this from my previous tests, but. Um, I just want to, you know, make sure everything is working. I've been using the LB Begin, it's my new alias for the way to navigate the ship. I'm on a um, small ship. It's a salvage C, so not the same type that Dan was testing on. I think he was on a government B. But um, yeah, should still get the same, um, the same sort of um, outcome. And this is a ship I put the infestation on myself, so I know it's only slime. I uh, haven't bothered with the other upgrades and things. So, first of all, I'm going to let the slime grow for a little bit. If I don't get hit by it, of course. And then I'm going to actually just test a few bits and pieces. So we're going to get like two or three tiles just to make sure everything is, is working hunky-dory. So let's clear the console. And we shall begin. Actually, I don't think that's begin. If that's begun, I'm going to scream. I'm not saying mission has started. So I don't think it has begun. All right. Let me close A1. Now, opening A1 should now start the mission, I believe. So, A1. Also found out something weird earlier on. If you, I had um, drone one off the ship and drone two on the ship. And I typed the begin command to start the mission, and the drones actually swap round. Kind of weird. If you do a begin command when one is on and one is off, for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let us begin. Mission has started. I am on here. So, we're expecting spawns at um, 20 seconds. So we should see that in a moment, as you can see, in real time. Got the timer on there. There we go. There is our first spawn. Let's move one and two over. So let's wait for the next one. We are happy we are growing at a rate of 20 seconds. Yes, we are. Okay, excellent. So I'm turning my back and I'm moving away. That doesn't seem to be spawning anything. Are we all happy that that's doing that? Okay, excellent work. So next we're gonna cause the one minute spawn. And then I'm gonna back out of the room. And what happens? Look at that. We have caused an extra slime spawn. Can we do it again, I wonder? It appears not. So it's just a single spawn that happened there. A single slime spawned. So we should now get one on 20 and on 4. No, interestingly not. Okay, so it just happens a single time. But then the next time I leave the room again, look, it's caused another one to spawn. Okay. So it seems like, in this case... It only causes the seeded slime to spawn when the, on, it doesn't happen every seven seconds. Or, sorry, in every four seconds on, on this point. It only happens 
um, the initial time. Interesting to note there, though, that now I have taken the, the my ship um, off, uh, my drone off the ship, sorry. Um, it's actually messed the, sl the spawn timer up slightly. So, I'm just going to let this grow for a little bit. I mean, it's not going to do anything else for a while, but we should still be able to monitor it from here. It's the reason I picked an airlock room. Where is it going to spawn? See, it could be growing at the other end of the, uh, at the top. Or, it could have just found its limits. Something we're not really going to know about while we're sat here. I had theorised that maybe if we took our drones off the ship, potentially um, seeded slime couldn't spawn much like the other ones. So, I don't know, maybe I was peeking too much on the ship. Maybe I'll have to run another test um, real soon. So let's go into... Let's dock on A1. And then I should be able to now go. As long as slime didn't spawn here, which it didn't. All right, can I get in at the top of the room? It'd be re really interesting to see whether or not there was like any more tile growth, but I don't think there was while I was off the ship. But the minute I enter the room again, uh, coincidentally, it was on a on a twenty second, uh, a twenty second like break. But all right, what happens now? There was another slime spawn on this ship, which I'm quite wary of. I think there was. No, there was. All right, so again, I've entered the room, and it spawned. I'm leaving the room. Another one has spawned. Interesting. I think my, my slime timer is completely messed up at this point. Okay, let's see if we can get it to happen again. I'm in the room. I've left the room. But as I came into the room, one spawned right on top of me. So entering and exit a room certainly does seem like it, um, it affects. Um, unfortunately, I can't... I can't say definitively whether or not being on or off the ship has any effect to it. I mean, the only thing I can really do now is, let me see if I can, SR, R2, uh, SR, R2, R6, SR, R6, R5. A3. Alright, so that's got rid of all the slime in that room. D11, D9, D6. So let me try and... Oh, I've lost on D3. That's unfortunate. Um, so, let's do F3, R1. Let's take one. Try and get it in that end room before the supposed two minute mark slime spawn. Put it in here and hope we can get another spawn. That would be good in here. Asteroid collision. Alright, it's grown in this room. Okay, that's fine. So let's dock A2. So this is not this is not seeded spawn slime. This is um, spawn slime. So again, we can see it's growing at an interval of twenty seconds. So we should get one at six forty. Going to cut this short potentially because of the asteroid. Okay, so it's back out the room. There we go, instantly at 46. So, I'm interested now. Are we going to get another one now I'm off the ship? That's our last one there. 
Is another one going to grow? No, but two grew the minute I came back in. All right, again, is anything going to grow here? That could have happened at 7.06. I wasn't looking at the timer, so guys, maybe you can confirm in comments. No, it is growing, but the, the, the timer has now switched to the when I caused the other one rather than the 20 seconds. So if I rush back in here, again, spawn straight away. I can't tell if that spawned another one because I was out the room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, come on. What's, what? What's happening to my drone? Um, uh, that's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm cut off. That's weird. Let's just do this as well. <laughs> that's bizarre. I don't know if that's happened like that because it's radiated or what. Weird stuff. So, what can we take from this? It seems that LB was right in that entering and exiting it rooms um, directly impacts the spawns. Um, taking, sh taking your drone off the ship does seem to affect it. However, I would theorize from what I've seen, and you can debate this in the comments, that it causes the slime to spawn 20 seconds after the last spawn. So I think I was seeing there I caused the spawn at five seconds and then it was spawning on the 25 and on the 45 until I re-entered. And then I got caused another spawn and I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. L let me know how you interpret that in the comments, guys. Hopefully that'll be helpful uh, in some way, shape or form. But it seems that going in and out of rooms directly impacts and manipulates the slime timer. Um, interesting to hear your comments below. Um, like I say, I hope you found this um, helpful for the test kitchen, Dan, and everybody else who watches these videos to try and understand how these different infestations work. Um, like I said, leave your comments down below. I'll be back real soon, hopefully helping Dan out with some more of these um, theory videos and testing some bits and pieces. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.